Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Sparta Stadium for tonight's contest between the number seven Parkersburg South Patriots and your number 14 Greenbrier East Spartans. If you're ready now, let's see the offensive starters for both teams tonight. First for the visitors, the Patriots of Parkersburg South. At left tackle, senior number 50, Dalton Fullerton. At left guard, senior number 52, Cole Burroughs. At center, senior number 69, Jeff Yusuf. At right guard, sophomore number 67, Gabe Hendershot. The right tackle is junior number 58, Marshall McPherson. The wide receivers, junior number 13, Dylan Day. Where's the man? Senior number 10, Brent Kern. They're here. Somewhere. Junior number 44, Dalen King. They were here earlier. Sophomore number 5, Levi Rice. The running back is senior number eight, Nick Yoho. And the quarterback for the Patriots tonight is senior number 12, Braden Mooney. And now let's be your offensive starters for your first Briar East Park. At left tackle, junior number 51, Peyton Pack. Left guard, junior number 64, Tyler Ball. Center, sophomore number 69, Logan Carr. At right guard, sophomore number 65, Deshante Hall. The right tackle, junior number 84, Houston Scott. The wide receivers, junior number 24, Brandon Honecker. Sophomore number 41, Colby Piner. Sophomore number 2, Nate Baker. At fullback, junior number 6, Marion Lawson. Tailback, senior number 22, Jalen Battle. And quarterback, junior number 15, Kyle Steen. High School presents, with pride, the 2018 Spartan Marching Band. <laughs> Featuring the leadership of drum majors Stanley Sikora and Courtney Martin, the two leaders, Victoria Roos and Lindbergh, Bailey Withrow, Galadriel Donahue, guard captains, Georgia Foster and Bailey Withrow. The director is Mr. James Alder and the 2018 Spartan Marching Band. Your attention is directed to the center of the stadium and the southeast corner of the stadium as the Greenbrier East High School Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps joins with the Spartan Band and the Parkersburg South and Greenbrier East Bands in honoring America with our national anthem. Would you please rise? over 100 years of service demonstrating strength and security and local loan decisions. Fathers feel comfortable securing their financial assets with Bank of Monroe. Daughters love suckers. 
There's an array of account options to suit your personal needs, including online banking, ATM, and mobile deposits. Young adults endorse the convenience. The Bank of Monroe has convenient locations in Union, Lewisburg, and Fairley. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. No retreat. And here we go, the first play of the game out of a shotgun set for the 20 on first down. Here's Kane, play action, throws to the left. It's a fucking lateral! Hunter, to Hunter! Here we go! 50, 40, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, and the touchdown! On a tribute to Homer Curl on the first play of the game, the fucking lateral goes 80 yards for a touchdown! King under center, charge, Miriam Lawson. Stadium. We're here with the this is Mark Solak, Robbie Glasser. We're here to watch the Spartans of Green Bar East take on the Patriots from Parkersburg South. Both these teams are ranked in the state and they are fighting for a playoff spot. The Spartans this year at this point in time are four and three and they're ranked number 14 in the state. Parkersburg South is number seven, they're five and two. So a win by the Spartans tonight can make a big impact on their postseason. We're just about ready for the captains to walk out on the field. We've got a huge moon tonight, clear sky, the temperature's gonna fall all night long and we're looking at about 60 degrees right now. But I believe it was probably gonna be down in the 40s well into the evening. Captains, tonight, Kyle King, Jalen Battle, Marion Lawson, and Bruce Humphreys. They're meeting out on the, on the 50 yard line. Officials are gonna discuss the coin toss. And we're gonna get to see this thing go up in the air. Spartans came off a tough loss last weekend. Uh, close game, could have went one way or the other. Uh, missed extra point was the difference, forcing Green Bay East to go for two and they ended up losing by two at the end of the game. Uh, a lot of touchdowns, a lot of action. Both teams played well. Parkersburg South has started out, I think, with the first season loss, but then they've been, they've been on a roll since then. They've, they've played well everywhere they've gone. Um, I don't think they're anything flashy. They just come out and they work hard. 
coin in the air. They're talking to Parkersburg South. Parkersburg South is going to defer. So Greenbar East. Greenbar East is going to receive the ball in the south end zone. And Parkersburg South will be kicking from the north side of the field. So here we are. We're just about ready to go. Park, er, Green Bar East is going to get ready to send a return team out. Parkersburg South is not even on the field yet. I'm not sure what that's all about. But uh, I guess they're going to come out together. Uh, they could end up with a delay a game if they don't speed this up a little bit. So I think what they do is they try to show their team unity by all coming out together. Uh, they hold hands. They want to show being, you know, one team. I'm not sure they bring their whole team along with them. Looks like they probably leave a lot of JV players home. Um, they do have a fairly large team. Got a lot of guys on their roster, but there's not nearly that many guys out there. Um, I've got at least 60, 50, 60 kids with numbers, and then there's more than that without. Uh, I can only assume that those are JV players. All right, well, they're still not on the field. I'm surprised they're not starting the 25 second clock or something to get this thing motivated. Back deep for the Spartans, Colby Piner. Um, the next man up, Brandon Honaker. Uh, the Spartans really hope to get the ball into Colby Piner's hands. I mean, that's one of the main goals of their kickoff team. Teeing it up for the Patriots is number 33, um, Wesley Starcher. I don't know a whole lot about Parkersburg South this year. In the past, they they have struggled in the past, but I believe this is a year where their their team has done a little bit more. And he is real deep. He's 10 yards deep for this kick. And he's taking a long run up. And he squibs it down the middle to keep it away from Piner. And the up man, Brandon, Brandon Honaker, gets a hold of it. Skips one man, still on his feet. And he's finally taken down. Spartans are going to take over first and 10 from the 25 yard line. So it's pretty obvious. Parkersburg South has watched film on Colby Piner. And they have decided not to kick it deep. Piner's coming off the field. And we are going to start with. A pistol set. Three backs in the backfield. Marion Loss is going to start in motion. They're going to take it right up the middle. About three yards on the play. Down Lyman, I believe, got in there and mixed it up. Maybe the nose tackle. Maybe just a tackle. They don't show themselves before they come to the line of scrimmage. So the defensive stays in a pack right in the middle of the field until Piner gets carried this time. He picks up about three more yards. That's going to bring it up to about the 31 yard line. It's going to be third and four. Well, Mark, welcome back to the booth. I know you got a good spot down on the sideline a second ago. <laughs> That's always a cool gig to be down there watching the coin toss. So positive yardage on both plays, third and four. Same formation. Going to try to get Piner into the grass, and they got the first down. Wow. 
They took him down well out of bounds, but there was no flag on the play. But we'll take the first down. For sure. First, first down with a little bit to spare. Yeah, Chris Humes just came out of the game, so I can only assume that they're going to change that formation out of the pistol. We're probably going to see an eye formation, maybe even a wildcat. Piner up the middle, picks up about four on the play. Brought down by a defensive back. Made it to the second level. Chris Hume's coming back. Going to give Mary Lawson a break. They keep a couple fullbacks in and out of the game. Keeps them fresh for fourth quarter. Yeah, they play defense all night long, so they do like to give them a spell. Another and, first down. And battle right Jalen Battle is still going. <laughs> and they're stopping a the clock for something here. First down, obviously. Well, they're saying there was a fumble on the play, but I believe it. They don't know yet. First down, Spartans. What they're saying is that forward motion was stopped, and then the ball was stripped. Um, one of the Patriots came out of the pile, but the whistle was blown. Um, I would like, like the running backs to hold on to the ball, just that little bit extra anyways. Yeah, just in case. Because last yeah. week we had a couple of recoveries we thought might have been turnovers and came out of the pile with the ball and it, it remained the other team's ball. So They brought some pressure up the middle that time and Colby Piner caught the edge. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Mark, these cowbells are infectious. I'm already starting to clap. <laughs> Here we go. There's a large group right in front of us that do love their cowbells, don't yes, they, Robbie? Yes, they do. I'm, I believe that would be uh, some of the, maybe the battle group and Ormsby and... Got motion coming. Nope, too much pursuit. Couldn't get to the edge that time. The Patriots are starting to bring a run blitz. Um, so you either have to catch the seam or you got to get around it. And yeah. We didn't get around it that time. So, and to bring a run blitz, um, I was learning this from NFL this past week. This quick, like the quick read, the hot read, I mean, that seems obvious. So It is for a seasoned NFL quarterback. <laughs> I think Kyle can do it. Is that That's battle? It. There's the nice. seam I was talking about. So the seam is a better option for a high school team than than the, the quick hot read. Yeah, that, that run blitz usually leaves a hole. Um, it takes patience by the back to really find it and kind of sidestep until he can get to that. Um, and Battle's patient like that. He reads the, his holes, you know, where he's supposed to go. And if it's filled, he's, he's good at choosing another spot. Keeps going north-south, too. That's hugely important. Now, that was on first down and second down. Let's see what they're going to do on third down here. See if the Spartans are going to try to air it out. We're going with that pistol formation. Oh, they got offsides on the Patriots. Sweet. We'll take that. It's going to, it might be a first down. It's going to be close. It should be. It will be close. I think it'll be short. I think they're going to be just over or inside the 31 yard line, which is going to make it a first down. Yeah. So now we get a measurement? No. Nope. I'm not sure. Oh, he moved it back a couple inches. Yeah, that's, that wow. doesn't make sense. All right, let's get a heavy package out for the first down. And, yep, and that's, there you that's, go. 
That'll do it. No doubt about that one, first down. You get in there and you run behind big Deshaun Hall. Yeah. Deshaun has had a heck of a season. Um, he is a 10th grader, 260-pound 10th grader. We have a lot of young, really good talent, Mark. And he's, he's had a heck of a season. For a youngster, um, you, you can't complain at all. He plays both ways, um, works hard. Colby Piner trying to get the edge. Corner. Oh, is that a flag? Yeah, there's a flag. Um, it's going to be a hold against the Spartans. Yeah, it was an unnecessary hold, too. They got the corner without without the help of the hold. That's going to take it way back. Um, almost to the 40-yard line, so we're going to have first and 20. Um, still makeable, the way they've been knocking off yards here. I like it a little bit inside, a little bit outside, a little bit inside, a little bit outside, and keep no, them on their toes. No passing yet, though, so be ready for surprise on the pass play. Well, I think the skill positions by the Patriots, uh, I think they're pretty good in the defensive back. They're bringing some pressure up front. You get Colby the, oh, there's a block in the back. No there's call, a though. flag on the play. There's no call for the block in the back, Mark, so. That looks like a 15 yard pass play. And that's nothing more than a, looks like a quick read to me, Rob. Yeah, quick, a <laughs> hot read to me. <laughs> yeah, they were bringing pressure right up the middle. Um, the Spartans need to start going with a, you know, a two count, three count. Change it up a little bit. but it looks like the Patriots bring pressure from all different angles. Um, that was directly up the middle that time. Spartans do have some wide splits. Got four down linemen right now, and they didn't bring anybody that time. I think it was a busted play. Yeah, battle, battle went the wrong way. Yeah, he looked around for some help, and Kyle panicked a little bit, and lost four yards on the play. So now we're still looking at third and long. I'm not sure we're going to try to air anything out deep. Is it two down territory though, Mark? Um, Probably. We, yeah, we can't kick it from here. Here comes pressure. Uh, size again. Chris moved. Uh, Chris Humes. They're going to get Chris Humes. 15 yards of penalties on this series of downs. Well, what's messing them up is that the Patriots are trying to time the snap. And uh, in the NFL, I think, or in the college, they call that simulating a snap. Mm -hmm. You know, they get the defensive lineman for, quote, simulating a snap by moving forward. Throw it, Kyle. Or... Oh, no. That's the, that's the opposite of what we needed. That is absolutely the opposite of what we needed right there, Mark. Yep. I, I'm not a fan of passing against Parkersburg South. We need to try to run the ball because they just bring too much heat. Um, five down linemen are not going to be able to pick up six or seven guys. It's just not going to happen. Um, so you didn't need to get rid of it quick. Come to the line quick. Yeah, we moved the ball really well in that series until we you know, took a holding penalty, a false start penalty. Got a whistle. Time out for a review. <laughs> That's funny. We, yeah, got right. the, we got the only <laughs> review in town, Robbie. We do. We've been using it quite a bit too. 
These replays are nice, Mark. We do. Yeah, I have the best seat in the house. I get to watch four cameras. Pass across the middle, wide open. And like that, Parkersburg South is uh, first and go first and no, it's not the goal. They're down to 15. Eighteen yard line, first down. Quarterback keeper. He's a big guy. Right on the left side, one man to beat, and he's in the end zone. That's uh quarterback number twelve. Braden Mooney. Uh, made it look pretty easy there, Mark. Tight yeah. ends tight ends huge and the quarterback's pretty huge. Yeah, we didn't have much for him that time. Yeah, Brandon's 6'3", 190. Not the way last week started out. No. We drove the ball well, but just penalties and then an error by Kyle King. Put the ball on the ground. Parkersburg South was able to pick it up. And Two, three plays later in the end zone. So we will, uh, with that extra point, it's 7 nothing, and we're going to take a quick timeout. We'll be right back. The Bank of Monroe has over 100 years of service demonstrating strength and security and local loan decisions. Fathers feel comfortable securing their financial assets with Bank of Monroe. Daughters love suckers. There's an array of account options to suit your personal needs, including online banking, ATM, and mobile deposits. Young adults endorse the convenience. The Bank of Monroe has convenient locations in Union, Lewisburg, and Fairley. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Back to action here at Spartan Stadium. Patriots leading 7-0. Thirty-three Wesley Starcher, first time he squib kicked it down the middle to keep it out of Piner's hands, and he does it again. Um, picked up by that an out battle? back. Battle with the pickup. Yep. Out to the thirty-five. We'll take that. So some some good starting position, Mark. Let's hope the Spartans can do a little more this time. Yeah, a couple things going on here, Mark. First down at the 37. I'm not loving this cheerleader camera angle. <laughs> try, try something new, but I think we have to get out and move that shortly. But in a little while, we'll give away $75. I'll just use that as an excuse to go. And Piner's around the left side with one man to beat. Nice blocker ahead of him. Out to midfield. Hold on to the ball. Pursuit caught up. He's only tackled by eight guys. This is how we do. I'm loving this. The uh, that time they they took the standard eye formation and instead of handing it off like the Spartans usually do, uh, up the middle, he held on to the ball and gave it to Piner coming around the corner. Pistol formation. Battle back deep. That's the Battle play. Gets a run. Good head of steam. Still on his feet. Gain of three or four. Yeah, we'll call it three. Yeah, that was Brandon Moody, the quarterback, that made that tackle. He's made a couple tackles, so he's very active on the offense and the defense. Looks like he plays a linebacker position. Um, Yeah, it looks like he's a middle linebacker. And they run a 5-3. There's Piner up the middle. And he's going to pick up a couple. Piner's brave running up the middle like that. That's another gain of two. 
Yeah. And call brings up third and third and five now. Yeah, we can manage. Just takes a little practice. That's all. Battle gets the call, tries to bounce it outside. There's nothing there. He might have picked up a half a yard on the play. Quick chance to talk about our sponsors, our Bank of Monroe. Bank of Monroe's offices in Fairley, Lewisburg, and Union. They offer mobile banking, mobile deposits, ATM drive through service, plus local loan decisions and a variety of accounts to suit your needs. Member FDIC, they're an equal housing lender. Kyle King back to kick. Oh, we got something happening. Well, it looked like Brandon was already running down there before the ball was snapped, so. Yeah, I think we jumped off yeah. a little bit there. Back deep for the Patriots, uh, number eight and number one. Number one is uh, B. Penn, six foot, 165 pounder, and Nick Yoho, six foot, 190 pounder. Oh, I remember talking about Nick Yoho last year. And that was out of bounds. I thought I was going to get a good wide shot there, but ended up kicking it out of bounds. Yeah, I was hoping he could have kept it in bounds. It would have been a nice roll. Um, well, yeah, we got that. Sorry about that. <laughs> that happens. That the heavy charger is problem there. I don't have any tape this week. I use my allotment of tape. <laughs> Need a new sponsor for tape. Yep. SJ Nehawk has tape. Two men in motion. That should be a penalty on the yep. play. And Looks the Spartans like stand them up. The flag is in there. And they had two guys in motion at the same time, so that's going to move back five yards. That's been the only play that slowed down the uh, Patriots has been a, a penalty against themselves. The legal shift. We declined it. We'll take the down because they tackled them for a loss of one. So it'll be second and 11. going to change the play. They're calling it in to change. And they're going to air it out and wide open. Number 13 running down the field. Brought down by number two, Nate Baker. Was that a 60 yard pass play on second and 12? Yeah, they've, they've got an air attack. There's no doubt about that. Oh, we have a Spartan down. And with that, uh, let's take a, take a quick time out here, Mark. At Fritz's Pharmacy and Wellness, we want you to be smart and be healthy. Fritz's Pharmacy and Wellness offers free pre-diabetic testing and general diabetic counseling. We will provide you with a free diabetic testing machine along with a monthly supply of testing strips at no charge. Stop in today. Or call Mandy or Aaron at Fritz's Pharmacy and Wellness, 645-1890, extension 171, and ask about our Diabetic Care Club. At Fritz's Pharmacy and Wellness, we want you to be healthy. Back to action here, though, with 155 to go in the first quarter. Patriots up 7-0. Wow, he hit that hole with a whole head of steam. About eight yards. 
Nick Yoho again on the carry. This was the game last year. We were up on the roof, and they had a really cool um, video board. They kept playing replays and. And it's, it's going to be short of the first down. Looks like Mark. Quarterback keeper, third and one. Third and a very short one. Oh, got something. That'll help. False start and back him up a bit. So at 40.3 seconds to go in the quarter. Third and six from the Spartan 24 yard line. A hold. Got him. Oh. First off, there was a hold on the play. He almost had him sacked in the backfield, and then he got the pass off, and it's up close to a first down. Yeah, you're gonna have to wrap up this guy and really stick him. That quarterback, he he shed that tackle. SJ Neathawk Lumber Company has spent three generations helping you with your home solutions. We'd like to thank you for giving us this wonderful opportunity to service you. You are our inspiration, and it's our desire to keep you satisfied with our services and products and helping with your home solutions from start to finish. As we continue to grow, you can find all you need for your home solutions. And thanks again from SJ Neathawk Lumber Company in Lewisburg and Covington. Back to action at Spartan Stadium, start of the second quarter. Looks like the Patriots are going to go for it. And unless it's a fake, uh, they have it. And quarterback Braylon is in the end zone for his second touchdown of the game. Their biggest weapon all night long on offense and defense. He's made more tackles than anybody else on the team, and uh, he's ran for more yards. Oh, that's a good mistake to have. And we keep the score at 13-0. Yep, bad snap. He got hit pretty good by the Spartans. Well, that's one positive sign so far, Mark. Seven minutes into the second quarter, 13-0 instead of 14 nothing. Well, the Spartans are going to receive another kickoff. And, uh, Got to figure out a way to get some yards on offense. Done well, just not well, well enough. Well, our first drive, we had, we moved the ball really well. Killed ourselves with penalties, though. Yeah. So we just go back to that and, uh, you know, hope for the best there. Uh oh. Kermit Key, let's see what this has to say. We're trying to figure out how to work this thing. We got some cameras, some technical <laughs> issues tonight. We got two advanced for ourselves. Heiner caught that one on the fly, and he might go. Oh, flag on the field, though.
We're having a little discussion on something. Waving it off. First down, Spartans. Sweet. All right, the Patriots are making a call on defense, and they're waiting in that muddle to figure out what they're going to do. It's hard for our coaches to read a defense, and it's changed all the time. They run a 4-4, a 5-3. They do a 4-3 with stunts. Um, the defense is altered all the time. Uh, it's been real tough on our, on our O-line. Quick hitter right up the middle with Marion. Still on his feet. And yeah, we're getting yards up the middle. Three, four at a time. I mean, that's the middle linebacker, Braden Moody, makes the tackle. Uh, we got to put a helmet on that, that guy, both on offense and defense. You can't just, you can't fake a block with him. You're going to have to do it. Yeah, this isn't helping me. It's telling me what the chroma key does. <laughs> Good run by Marion again. Picking up three. We think about it. Got four yards there. We're we're uh, third and two. Very manageable situation. Yeah, third and two still still opens your playbook for pass or run. Quick handoff on the inside. It looks like he has it. Oh, it's going to be close. Depends on the spot. Uh, he's going to be a little short. Yeah, it's going to be a little short. It looked like they had a forward progress, and then the official on the far side walked backwards. The initial hole was plugged up, and he had to scoot to, the, to his left, and the hole never materialized. The suit caught up with it. Um, you'll see when Parkersburg South, when they go straight ahead, they're hitting that line hard straight ahead, and there's no east-west until they're into the second level. Um, and those holes aren't opening up for the Spartans. We're going for it. Kyle King takes a snap, and he got stuffed. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. I see. I like where the line jump's yeah, walking do. in. I do, too. That's the first down, Mark. After his progress, progress was stopped, they pushed him back, but he made it. Good job, Kyle King. He almost bobbled that snap a little bit too. Was bouncing it around a little. Not really what uh, what we wanted to see. Well, that may have been why um, you know the defense was a little bit late to get to the tackle. Sometimes those bobbles help you. Colby Piner trying to get to the edge, and nothing. He is really getting hit pretty late out of bounds. He was way out of bounds by the time he got hit again. Um, and I know momentum's carrying him out there, but uh, picked up only about a yard on the play. Their lateral pursuit is very good. Yeah. We got away from it. He's running across the line. He's out to the first down. Nice run. Yeah. Teams that have heavy pursuit. I was, I was literally just going to say something about a naked bootleg about the quarterback keeper, and I couldn't get it out of my mouth quick enough. Uh, teams that do pursuit heavy like that, they do have a tendency to leave that bootleg open. Uh, it really helps when your quarterback is extremely fleet of foot. Kyle King is quick, but um, he's not the speediest quarterback I've ever seen. But he did get that first down, so we'll take it. Yeah, we're well, on the move, Mark, just like the first drive. He's all by himself back there now, and they're going to send the whole package. Oh, that's oh man, got away. And almost got back to the line of scrimmage, but probably not. I was going to say, that was a heck of a tackle by the guy. He did reach out and grab Piner's jersey, but it wasn't enough to bring him down, thankfully. Yeah. 
So they did lose about a half yard on the play. So it is going to be second and 11. That's the third time they've gone to that play. It worked well the first time. Um, looks like we might be seeing it again here. Powell King's all by himself, and they've got six guys coming. There's just nobody to block for them. It's, it's impossible. You just can't do it. You can't get five to block six. No. Um, but Kyle did a good job of slithering back up through the hole. He yeah, had a couple yards. Pick up a couple, but he's going to take a pounding like that all night. Yeah. Can't afford our quarterback to get hit like that in the middle of the line. Quite often when you break loose, you got a DB that just comes through. Sideline warning. Yeah, Coach Lee likes to get out on the field a little bit to help him call plays. And uh, they're going to holler about that all night long. We, I thought we had a system set up to call plays with numbers. And uh, so that's our first sideline warning of the night. Um, Coach Lee's kind of notorious for that, so. We'll have to see how it goes. And another fumble by Kyle King. And that's two turnovers. And that time, Braden Moody took a took a, a clear wide open shot on Kyle King for no reason. His player was on the ground with the ball and took the opportunity to hit our quarterback. Um, no need for that in high school football. Uh, no need. So I thought the kid was uh, pretty classy till just now. Yeah, that was not, not his best decision there. He's a senior, so he should know better. Yep, he's played well all night, tackles well, plays a lot of offense, and just cheap shot at Kyle King. All right, we're going to take a timeout. Maybe he'll get a little reprimanding on the, while we're at it, and we'll be right back. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. I'd hammer in the evening, all over this land. I'd hammer out I'd hammer out a warning I'd hammer out love between my brothers and my sisters All over this land Alright Mark, back to action here Score didn't change obviously during that timeout. Yeah, it's wide open. And he is not going to, oh, he is tackled. Nope, slipped off. You got to wrap him up. All the way in for a touchdown. Yeah, that was number 22 for the Patriots. Devin James. Is that what he said? Yep. My roster says Thomas Nutter. I was cheating and listening to the announcer. Kick is up and good. And just like that, 20 to zero. Hey Spartan fans, SharpVideoTV.com has an exciting promotion for you this year. We are giving away $75 at each Spartan home game. Registration is easy. All you do is go to Bank of Monroe and Fairley and Fritz's Pharmacy 2 in Lewisburg. And Neahawks. Fill out your name, put it in a box. We're going to draw out a winner in each home game, all five home games this season. If you're present when your name is drawn, we're going to give you an additional piece of Greenberry's merchandise, shirt, hat, something cool like that. You'll be able to support the Spartans all week. Additional details are available on our Facebook page, 
Facebook slash Sharp Video. Remember, Bank of Monroe Fairley, Fritz's Pharmacy 2, and Neahawks. Register to win 75 bucks in your pocket. We'll see you at Spartan Stadium this year. Good luck. We've seen not much of a way in the kickoff department from. No, they've been squibbed at each time. This He's is lined a... up totally different this time. He's going to kick across the field from what I can guess. Found a big hole over there. Send Colby Piner back way deep. And he's going to try to come back across the grain. Got a block in the back. Two flags on that thing. That's a good call, boys. Oh, it looks like they're ordering dinner over there. Personal foul. I think they called that a block on a defenseless man, which means that it was like a crackback block. Yeah. But it wasn't he was facing the right direction. Everything was right. Um, I don't think you can call it that way. But... So Spartans take over first and five from their own, first and ten from their own five yard line. And battle wrapped up right away. There's that Lawson. That's battle. That was battle. defensive end they stood the defensive end up um, but didn't make any progress with the block and we just shed the block and made the tackle Jalen cuts back Picked up a few on that play. Officials time out for something. I think somebody was tying their shoe. We got third and short now. Um, not sure what they're going to do. Whether the last time we had this same play, they, they went uh, quarterback sneak. Um, we'll have to see what happens this time. We're going I with Colby Piner deep in the backfield. Handing off to Colby Piner. And he's tackled in the backfield. Loss of a couple. It's going to bring a fourth down and four. Third and one. And not sure why you don't hand that ball to Marion Lawson. Hand it to the up man and let him pound ahead for a yard. All right, so punt formation. The collar to the goal line. Yep. Two men back deep for the Patriots, and they want to return this thing. We got a hold of it. And Jalen Battle got a hold of him. High formation. Uh, now it's not an eye. That's the quarterback in the backfield and the misdirection. And we got a flag on the play. Probably going to be some type of hold. Battle was almost in on the play, but there was a flag. And my guess is it's going to be a hold from where I saw it. We, we need a turnover here, Mark. Get some, get some enthusiasm back in here. 
I feel like we've already written the rest of this game off. Yeah, it's pretty quiet out there. It's it's tough because Parkersburg's looking really good right now. Yeah. This is physically bigger. Pass play. Oh, nice. Oh. Lawson with a nice tackle. Picked up maybe a yard on the play. Nice tackle by Marion. Slipped one tackler and then Marion was there to clean it up. Marion's there to bury him. Brings up second and 18. Chris Humes and Peyton Pack make the tackle. Quarterback picked up a couple on the play. Third and 14. Patriots come right to the line of scrimmage. My guess is they're going to throw the ball. Their pass plays have been very... Have they missed the pass tonight? Have they dropped the no, pass? No, they dropped one. And he's back to throw, and he's going to throw deep again. Wide open on the wheel route. Boom. Dropped it. Ormsby came up and made the hit and knocked the ball out of his hand. Wide open on the wheel route, and he dropped it. Ormsby did a, had a lot to do with that drop. Yeah, Ormsby played a nice defense on it. He made the catch, but Ormsby hit him. So they're going to line up in a some type of rugby punt. Give me a fake. No, punting all the way. Yeah, it takes a good Parkersburg south bounce. And Spartans will start there at the five-yard line. All right, Mark, we're halfway to fixing this thing. Got rid of one, right? Got rid of one. I have one left. But the problem is you're not sure how you did it. No. <laughs> I played a replay. <laughs> so oh. Maybe we need another play we can replay. We replay that punt. It's too late now, but I think we're going to replay the next play to see if it works out. Had to holler one of my wrestlers. There he is. Just in. Yes, Leslie sir. Campbell. What's going on? Good to see you. Good to see you. Absolutely. Play state winner. Now goes to uh, West Virginia Tech. Off in college. Making all of Green Bar East proud. And the clock's rolling. It's, it's uh, 320 to go in the half. We're still trying to get that edge, and it's not working. So we'll have to see how this next one goes. Red formation. One back in the backfield. Kyle King on the center. Actually, here's an eye formation. Hands off it. Go, 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 go. Jalen Battle just sticks the pile and a lot of blockers helping out there. Jalen just refused to be tackled. I think Jalen's on. Uh, on that I need the ball tonight. Yeah. He's on the coach hand it to me. I got this. Well he's had uh he's had some big games so far this year, but nothing really like breakout. But there's one. Oh, oh. two string. He's down. Two string tackle. You get a reef. Just caught his foot. We're gonna get a replay on that, see if it fixes our problem. Oh yeah, just tripped him up. Boy. Tripped him up last second. Oh, 
That clock rolling there, Mark. SJ Nehawk Lumber, uh, they've been a sponsor of us all season. They're locally owned for three, three generations. They've been in business for 71 years. Uh, they offer home solutions for interior and exterior projects. Additionally, their uh, farm services and equipment are second to none. Check out NehawkLumber.com for additional info and to join their monthly DIY email club. Locations in Lewisburg, Covington, and Roanoke. And I wish I had their commercial queued up, but unfortunately I don't. But we're going to take a commercial with this time out. We'll be right back. At Fritz's Pharmacy and Wellness, we want you to be smart and be healthy. Fritz's Pharmacy and Wellness offers free pre-diabetic testing and general diabetic counseling. We will provide you with a free diabetic testing machine along with a monthly supply of testing strips at no charge. Stop in today or call Mandy or Aaron at Fritz's Pharmacy and Wellness, 645-1890, extension 171, and ask about our Diabetic Care Club. At Fritz's Pharmacy and Wellness, we want you to be healthy. Hi, right, Mark. Back to action here. 143 to go. Second and seven. Kyle under pressure. He holds on to the ball, gets away from it, slings it out to Honaker. And Honaker ends up losing about eight on that play. Yeah, Honaker would have been better off knocking that to the ground. Yeah. And he's not going to get up. So it looks like the Spartans are going to be content to run this thing down to the end of the half. Uh, it'll be close mathematically, but then you're still going to have to punt. They're not going to get it off. And it looks like we're going to... You're... <laughs> All right, well, we're going to take a timeout with them. We'll be right back. SJ Neathawk Lumber Company has spent three generations helping you with your home solutions. We'd like to thank you for giving us this wonderful opportunity to service you. You are our inspiration, and it's our desire to keep you satisfied with our services and products and helping with your home solutions from start to finish. As we continue to grow, you can find all you need for your home solutions. And thanks again from SJ Neathawk Lumber Company in Lewisburg and Covington. All right, back to action here at Spartan Stadium. 57 seconds to go. Spartans are looking at third and 15. Piner was open across the middle, just couldn't quite make the connection there. That's a nice play design there, Mark. Yep. It was available. Hey, Fritz's Pharmacy has been a supporter of Greenberg East Sports for decades. Fritz's Pharmacy is a locally owned independent pharmacy. They offer several free services, including mail out delivery, Sync RX, and they have an extensive wellness center with focus on helping people with diabetes thrive. Kyle King gets the kick. Oh, nice kick. Nice kick. Drives him back. Ah, but he gets a return. There's a block in the back right there on the point of attack. But Fritz's Pharmacy accepts almost all insurance plans, including West Virginia PEIA. Check out Facebook slash Fritz's Pharmacy for additional details. Fritz's Pharmacy, we want to be your pharmacy. And it looks like there could be a penalty Conference. against the Patriots. Not sure where. They're holding during a run back. Yeah, it looks like it's a long way off. I mean, it's right there at one of the. Looks like it probably happened right away off the line of scrimmage. So now we're conferring at midfield. Attack the penalty on the end of the run, end of the return. Yeah. 
We'll take it. Um, that was a lot of penalty. That must have been two. Yeah, he um, said holding and an unsportsmanlike. Um, so that's a 25-yard penalty. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of penalties. That's a lot of yards. So with 43.5 to go in the quarter, or the half, rather. Waiting on a chain gang to move. I gave them a late, the late signal to come down. They're running down the sideline. You see over there, if I had my telestrator mark, I'd be circling them. There they go. All right, chains are set. 43.5 to go. Patriots 20, Spartans nothing. My guess is going to be a long pass. How about a pick six? There's a hold right there. Deshante Hall, a defensive lineman, ran him down from the back. Quite a play by a, a nice. down lineman. Nice play, Deshante. And there was a hold right in front of the quarterback. I mean, uh, yeah. Nate Baker was trying to rush there and literally wrapped up around him and took him down. 31 seconds looks like uh, Parkersburg's going to take a timeout. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. I'd hammer in the evening. All over this land. I'd hammer out danger. I'd hammer out a warning. I'd hammer out love between my brothers and my sisters. All over this land. We were just discussing what Parkersburg South is trying to do. They have one timeout remaining, um, but with only 31 seconds and 70 yards to go. Maybe they're trying to out get him. They had their hands on him, but he still has enough arm strength to throw it at the feet of one of his receivers for an incomplete pass. Yeah, they had it look like an all out blitz on that. They did. They brought the kitchen sink, which you need to do because they're they're trying to create a long pass. Um, the only thing we got to do is you got to keep a spy on that quarterback um, in case he tries to run it. And there goes the run. So obviously they didn't Chris tell him. Chris made the tackle. They didn't tell him to go out of bounds. They kept the clock running for. An extra two seconds there. See if the officials reset it. Yep. Yeah, they're going to talk about it. Right now it says 9.6, but I think when we're done it's going to say 11.5. But here at Spartan Stadium, we only have one scoreboard on one end of the stadium. Cameras over there. We went from really not a whole lot of action marks to like everything going on at the same time, it seems like. All right, second and 10, 11.7 to go. Drops back to pass with a timeout remaining, so everywhere on the field is open. Incomplete pass, 6.4 seconds. Still time for one more play.
We're definitely getting some home cooking on the clock, though. I like it. <laughs> and he's in a shotgun, drops back for what? Screenplay. Still so, two seconds left. Yeah, they have time for one more play. This will be the final play of the half, barring a defensive penalty. Shotgun formation, one back in the backfield. Four rushers, they don't bring anybody extra. Holding. And that's gonna be holding on the offense and that penalty be declined. And Mark with double zeros on the scoreboard. Fargersburg South put 20 on us first half and we didn't score any. So we're gonna enjoy homecoming here at halftime and we'll be back to Spartan Stadium in approximately 25 minutes. Hey Spartan fans, SharpVideoTV.com has an exciting promotion for you this year. We are giving away $75 at each Spartan home game. Registration is easy. All you do is go to Bank of Monroe and Fairley and Fritz's Pharmacy 2 in Lewisburg. And Neahawks. Fill out your name, put it in the box. We're going to draw out a winner at each home game, all five home games this season. If you're present when your name is drawn, we're going to give you an additional piece of Greenberry's merchandise shirt, hat, something cool like that, you'll be able to support the Spartans all week. Additional details are available on our Facebook page, Facebook slash Sharp Video. Remember, Bank of Monroe Fairley, Fritz's Pharmacy 2, and Neahawks. Register to win 75 bucks in your pocket. We'll see you at Spartan Stadium this year. Good luck. The Bank of Monroe has over 100 years of service demonstrating strength and security and local loan decisions. Fathers feel comfortable securing their financial assets with Bank of Monroe, Daughters love suckers. There's an array of account options to suit your personal needs, including online banking, ATM, and mobile deposits. Young adults endorse the convenience. The Bank of Monroe has convenient locations in Union, Lewisburg, and Fairley. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Ladies and gentlemen, this year we are celebrating our 50th anniversary of our school. We are the Open in the fall of 1968. For the past 50 years, Holden Company has been for the time of reunion and celebration for our alumni, students, and friends. Representing the Green Army's beloved alumni, Valerie Jones and Matthew Harvey have joined us tonight. Matthew and Valerie were crowned last year's Holden Company King and Queen. Tonight they have returned to carry on the tradition and crowned tonight's King and Queen. The next 
the floor for today's sophomore class is Emma Dobson and Clay Jackson. Emma is the daughter of Mike and Allison Dobson of Lewisburg. She is a member of East Women's Soccer Team. Clay is the son of William and Lamorta Jackson of Frankfurt. He enjoys playing football and basketball for the Green Warriors.
Maybe we would have won. The Bank of Monroe has over 100 years of service demonstrating strength and security and local loan decisions. Fathers feel comfortable securing their financial assets with Bank of Monroe. Daughters love suckers. There's an array of account options to suit your personal needs, including online banking, ATM, and mobile deposits. Young adults endorse the convenience. The Bank of Monroe has convenient locations in Union, Lewisburg, and Fairley. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Dalton Klein. Dalton Klein is a former Greenbrier U Spartan football player. Dalton Klein is with Greenbrier Ford, primarily truck world north of I-94. I he would like to invite you, invite you to come visit him at Truck World. Give him a chance to help you get the best deal and earn your business. Go visit Dalton Klein. And just like that, Mark, halftime ends. We crowned a new king and queen of homecoming. Seems like every year there's a new one. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how that happens. You know what might what there might be tonight, though, is a new billionaire. <laughs> I have one of those in my pocket. Who doesn't? I don't know. I Really, a lot of people. It's pretty exciting. Who would take the chance not to? Said I a mean, billion dollars. Stupider is, things have happened, is, right? That's true. A billion dollars is more than 40 grand a day after taxes. A 7% return forever. <laughs> that's your kids' kids and grandkids and could, all that. Could be your town, your county, and it yeah. could change your state a little bit even. It, it could. We'd have new bleachers here. <laughs> For sure, Spartan Stadium, if we hit that. Get some lights. We'll get a, um, one of those pulley cameras, the camera on top of the field. That'd be a good time, wouldn't it? Yep. This is our first kickoff of the night, and it looks like Owen Vogelsong is going to be doing the kicking tonight. Uh, back deep is number 22 for the... Patriots. Uh, I don't have his actual name on our roster, but he did catch, catch a long pass for a return. Number one ended up picking up the ball, and he's looking for a little bit of ground, and he's hit in there and brought down by Jalen Battle. Not much of a surprise there. <laughs> no. That's a, a normal return out to the 25-yard line, so. Yeah, that's good coverage. You know, I'm surprised we didn't see tonight yet is Coach Millick. I'm putting on a wrestling jacket. Just thought about that. I didn't see him running around down there. No, I think he's, I saw him earlier. He did say something about he had to do some dinner or something, maybe with his wife. Number eight gets the call. Jalen Battle. Um, and 64, that's uh, Tyler Boggs, wrapped him up after about a two and a half yard gain. Um, spread formation, they're gonna come in motion, try some change of direction, and he's still running. Blows he's out on the shoulder. Run. Nick Yoho again. Flag on the play, though. Looked like it was against the Spartans, possibly. Personal foul against the Spartans. I didn't see it. I didn't either. Robbie, I'm not sure what the penalty was. Must have been so. after the play, maybe. 
But as the guys were marching it down to the 20, so just like that, 80 yards of 80 yards of offense there. Well, 60, I guess, because you started at the 20. Spread formation. He's in the quarterback's in the backfield all by himself. He's got five receivers out. I'm not sure we have five DBs, so we'll see how that goes. Hands it off. Nope. Quarterback keeps it. Made the read. And they have him down inside the five. That's a run pass option. Looked like Markin. He kept it, made the right read, and 15 yards later, he's the first and goal about the three, it looks like, maybe the four. Just carried a few tacklers right along with him, never even really slowed down. Touchdown. There's a flag, a late, super late flag. See what the official has to say. I thought he was going to give us some info, but. He's going to talk to our defensive captain. So maybe that play's coming back. Might have been post touchdown. Did they ring up the touchdown? We're marking it for the extra point. Touchdown. Touchdown. Personal foul must be after the play. Dead ball. And they're going to take it at the kickoff. It mishandled this once, but not that time. Right down the middle. And it's good. So, a minute and 17 seconds into the second half, boom, uh, Patriots score again. All right, we're going to take a quick time out here, Mark. We'll be right back. At Fritz's Pharmacy and Wellness, we want you to be smart and be healthy. Fritz's Pharmacy and Wellness offers free pre-diabetic testing and general diabetic counseling. We will provide you with a free diabetic testing machine along with a monthly supply of testing strips at no charge. Stop in today. Or call Mandy or Aaron at Fritz's Pharmacy and Wellness, 645-1890, extension 171, and ask about our Diabetic Care Club. At Fritz's Pharmacy and Wellness, we want you to be healthy. Hi, right, Mark. It's a nice night for football. I brought my coat. I brought a pullover. I was all red. I think last week was way colder than tonight. Yeah, but we do cheat a little bit. Yeah. There's a nice electric heater right here at our feet. <laughs> That's true. All right, they're going to march them back, and they're going to get to set the ball down at the 30-yard line. Twenty-five. I'm sorry. So my guess is they're going to try to kick it deep here, like they did last time. We'll have to check and see. This uh, kicker has been directional. Well, we in have the way that he lines up. Well, where are they going to assess the penalty? They did. Oh, that's why I came from the 25, not the 35. Look, he's he's way inside. He's going to kick it deep that way again. And Piner has moved over to catch that one. And he makes the catch on the fly. And there he comes. Face mask also. And he missed that one. Now he caught it right at the end. He threw the flag in there. That's a good return. He's out to the 43-yard line. Heiner came up a little bit limp, but they're they're going to march him back either five or 10, 15 more yards because there was a face mask on that. So the Spartans are going to take over. At a 30. First and 10. Oh, 39 at the 39-yard line. Play comes in from the sideline. Kyle King jumps in the huddle with them. And boom, they're on the line of scrimmage. Colby's limping a little bit, but he's not coming off the field. D 
defund defense jump that time. Um, they're trying to get that run blitz going again, and they caught him. They've done that a couple times. Is that their third offense or third defensive offsides? At least they're second. Man, when you're up 27 and nothing, you can take a few chances. <laughs> Battle. battle carries a few up the middle. Picked up about two and a half yards on that. That's going to make it second and two and a half. Might be closer to two. Yeah, we'll call it a long, a long one, short two. Oh. Linebacker read that play and just came up the middle and stopped it well short of the first down. No gain. Two down territory. Um, Are you quitting? Are you quitting? Oh. You feeling okay? Good to see you back. I got you, Robbie. What you talking about? <laughs> Don't know where you went. All right. We're in motion again. Kyle King barking it out. And he's going to keep it. And he's going to look for somebody to throw to. But there's nobody there. He's going to try to get it on his legs. And I think he does. He stayed in bounds. Tiptoe well, down the sideline. Grant Wall runs out of bounds at the 22-yard line. And a Spartans first down. First down for the Spartans. Hey, see that pursuit does it. Here we go, we're coming out of the huddle again. Same power eye formation. Didn't miss me, did you, Mark? Uh, we heard you. <laughs> When you leave your mic on and you talk to people, oh. we know where you are. I hear you. I said, <laughs> good thing I said good thing. <coughs> Picked up a couple more on that. That power formation does wonders. But Parkersburg South just brought a little more beef in there. Their 300-pound defensive lineman uh -oh. just stepped in there. And he's in at nose tackle. He fills up some space. And Jalen Battle carries the pile forward. Jalen Battle on the carry. Stopped at the 17 yard line. Third down. Picked up a couple more, but still we have third and five. Jalen had to come out, lost his helmet on the play. Cal King comes in with the play. We got about, well, maybe four yards to go along four. We're staying with the power eye formation. Now they're going to switch it back over. And they're going to try to get the edge with Colby. And he gets it. And he's got the touchdown, Spartan. Way to go, Spartan. No flag on the field. 7.47 to go in the third quarter. Spartan score. Way to go, Colby Finer. Lining up for the extra point. Ball's down, kick is good. No, it did sail left. It looked like it went through the uprights to me, but we missed it. Well, we put some points on the board, Robbie. Piner had a good run there. A couple penalties aided that play. But, uh, you know, without support, just like SJ Needhawk, Lumber, locally owned for three generations, they've been in business for 71 years. They offer home solutions for interior, exterior projects. Additionally, their farm services and equipment are second to none. 
check out needhawkplumber.com for additional info and to join their monthly DIY email club. Locations in Lewisburg, Covington, and Roanoke. I use SJ Needhawk almost every single day. Uh, good company, good people. Plenty of support. We got stadium still pretty full. Yeah, a lot and of people here. We're down by a little bit, but they're still cheering, and uh, Spartans got a little bit of a lift there. Let's hope it does something to spark some small yeah, ports. It's, it's a bummer when you miss that extra point, though. Vogel song kicking off deep. We'll see where he goes. He's going to squibber down the middle, bounce it. Up man picks it up. And it's a center return. He's hit immediately and brought to the ground by the first tackler that hit him. I think that was uh, 67. Uh, TJ or JT Spencer made that tackle. Uh, just wrapped him up, took him right to the ground. Yeah, that was a nice tackle. Textbook, in fact. He had plenty more yards to go. So the Spartans have changed things up a little bit. They've got five down linemen now. They're going with a 5-2, five, 5-3 five, rover. 5-2 rover. And they're going to change. they got in motion there. they got a big group of guys over here on the right, left-hand side. And they're going to hand off, and he gets the edge. One man to beat. Oh, there's a penalty on the play. Penalty for the holding, so back him up, back him up, way back. Three. Uh, I'm not sure what they're going to call. It did call holding against them. Nate Baker was not too pleased uh, and was shown his displeasure to his coaches, but what he didn't realize is there was a flag on the field. Um, they had already seen the play. That might, well, no, that might have been Nate, uh, Brandon Honaker, not, not Nate Baker. But either way, back him up 10 yards, take away that gain. So we're still first and 20 now. And we'll see what they do. Yeah, we'll take first and 20 any day. Motion. And he hands it off, trying to get it. the outside, and he cuts back and still gaining yards. Still running with the ball. Still on his feet. Gaining and 10. that's illegal number 10. You can't grab a hold of your guy and pull him forward. Got back to the line of scrimmage, and we should have had him in the backfield. Actually, picked up 10 on the play, and we should have had him way deep. Um, these guys aren't just falling over. You got to take them to the ground. Same play, but this time the Spartans swallow them up. Brandon Honaker and Jalen Battle. No gain on the play, maybe a loss of one, third down, third and 12, third and 11. This very well could be a passing, passing down right here, and they've done real well passing. It's normally when they call, change it to a pass play. And the Spartans got a good push, but they made the reception. And from the back, Colby Piner runs them down, but not before a huge gain. Yeah, his knees hurt. He on that tackle or, or on the, the kick return, it looked like he went down on his left knee hit the ground first. And that's what he's kind of favoring as he's as he limping towards the middle of the field. Yeah, Colby's kind of a gamer though. He's he's not gonna let anybody take him out. Another pass. Nice overthrow there. Hello? All right, it's going to bring up second and 10. You all right? I'm right in the Patriots middle of the TV been knocking off yards right? and, and big chunks tonight. They had, in our last series, they had a 60-yard pass play okay, and then fine. a penalty. Got it down to first and goal, and two all plays right. later, they made it 27-6. Okay. And the same thing is going on here after a decent kick return. Then they got a penalty, then 10 yards and 12 yards, and now we're out to second and 10 at the 
27 yard line. Man of motion again. We've seen that play quite a bit tonight, but the quarterback's keeping it. He's out to the right. It's hard to bring down somebody at 6'3", before we decide he was uh, heavyweight wise. Big. 6'2", 205. And he got the first down. So first and 10 at the 12-yard line. We call it the 11-yard line on the scoreboard. Man of motion towards us. A handoff. And they got him for, got a couple yards, but uh, he was tackled in there by Peyton Pack. And, Brandon Honaker and Deshaun Hall. Still picked up a couple. Yeah. That's Nick Yoho. He has a touchdown tonight. Got our hand off to Nick. He's up the middle, untouched for a touchdown. Well, it didn't take him long to answer back to Greenbrier East touchdown. No. But we had a mark. We had a first and you know a first and twenty. Let him slip away and then converted a long third down. You know, play here, play there. They start adding up to a lot of yards for the Patriots. Low snap again, but he was able to get the ball <laughs> down on the tee, and they still kicked it through. Oh, Robbie, it's discouraging when you sit down to a game like this and the Spartans just aren't up to snuff tonight. Um, it's it's hard to get enthusiastic about it, but you got to look yeah. at it, the overall season um, and the expectations were not very high for the Spartans, and they played probably above their expect of what the majority of people expected. Got a lot of youngsters out there, so hopefully uh, these types of things can be stepping stones for the future. Yeah, definitely learning experiences, and we said that last week too. Losing a heartbreaker 28 26. You know, I mean, there are no moral victories, but in the scheme of things, you're right. We have young, young team, our, our quarterback's a junior. Um, you know, we have some speedsters that are sophomores. And coming into next year, there will be some higher expectations, like you said. Um, but even if, you know, not to chalk this up as a loss already, still 17 minutes and 10 seconds to go, but. The four and four. Piner catches the ball deep, and he's trying to get some running room. He's not got much, but he's he's got a corner there and gets stood up. I'm gonna put a Fitbit on him next game. I bet he runs twice as many yards to, to earn the yards as he actually gets put into the stat book. <laughs> yeah, he does have a tendency to get a little bit east-west. Anyway, the Spartans are four and four, and really with two games left, five and five or six and four, six and four is going to make the playoffs. Five and five, we're going to have to rely on some other teams possibly. But you know, we have a road trip next week to Princeton. Well, I shouldn't say next week; it depends on when you're watching it. But road trip on October 26 to Princeton, and then our final home game of the season here at Spartan Stadium, November 11th. We'll be broadcasting live next week from Princeton. Live right? next week, that's right. So if you can't make it down there, you can always come up and catch it on sharpvideotv.com. Tune in Friday night, 730. You get to listen to two of us talk about football for another three hours next week. Jalen Battle picked up almost, almost two yards on that play. A um, couple hard yards. We'll see that play clock's running way down. Six, five, four. A two wide outs on the near side. Here we go. We've seen this play before tonight. 
And I think the South has seen it a few times too. <laughs> yeah, they have. They were ready. Hey, I'm not. I know their DBX defensive backs are fast, and that's why we're really not throwing deep. Um, there's not going to be much open there. Uh, Got to be some quick hitters, but. Um, Run blitz coming up the middle. Wow, he eluded all those and he's running. Gained about half of what he needed to get a first down. And got hit hard. And there's some words around halftime. You see any yellow yeah, any yellow laundry over there? Yeah, they threw some laundry up. We'll stick with this camera angle. We'll see what the, what the referee has to say. I will come back to that when they decide what they're actually going to do. Dead ball, personal foul on the Spartans. Personal foul against the Patriots, offset. And we're bringing in the punt team. That's probably wise. Good snap back, great punt by Kyle King. And a fair catch by Yoho or Soho or <laughs> Sui or ha Han Solo. Han Solo, yeah. He got the ball. He has good hands. It's a good, good person to put back there for the punt team. I think we haven't talked about the Bank of Monroe. They have offices in Fairleigh, Lewisburg, and Union. They offer Mobile banking, mobile deposits, ATM and drive through services, plus local loan decisions, and a variety of accounts to suit your needs. Member FDIC, and they're an equal housing lender. The Bank of Monroe, right here in Fairley. I can almost see it from here, Robbie. Almost. You know what I don't see? I, I drive by, I've actually pulled in there quite a bit, and I drive by it probably every other time that their entrance kind of just sneaks up on you. I think we got a flag on the play. Yeah, holding, bringing that thing back. What were you saying about them? I was talking about I often go to the bank there, and, and even though I know I'm looking for that entrance just past that building there, it's on the left, it always sneaks up on me, end up having <laughs> to make the loop. I spend more time, because the other bank up in the north, northern side of Lewisburg is right across from Meathawks. So that's kind of where I end up doing my banking, because I'm, I'm right there with both of them, so, you know. It, and it's nice that you support both of our sponsors. Oh yeah, I mean, without well, actually, all, all three, because I'm you I'm are a, one. I'm a firm <laughs> user of Fritz's Pharmacy too, so um, I'm old now. You know, us yeah. old guys need uh, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Pass. And they're gonna swing it out, and they got a screen out there, and nobody in front of Mr. Yuhu, and he's bye bye. Yeah, he's gone. That's Yoho for his third touchdown of the night. We got a quick replay on that. We got a, we got something going oh, on. There's a flag back here on the near side at the 32 yard line, way behind the line of scrimmage. So all that for not. We'll see. We'll see if it was for not. Sideline infraction, Green Bar East, touchdown. Okay. All right, Mark, just like that. 
40 to 6, and we're going to take a quick time out. We'll be right back. You're watching Sharp Video TV, and if you're watching it on, on the TV, you can go to online, sharpvideotv.com. We'll be right back. SJ Neathawk Lumber Company has spent three generations helping you with your home solutions. We'd like to thank you for giving us this wonderful opportunity to service you. You are our inspiration, and it's our desire to keep you satisfied with our services and products and helping with your home solutions from start to finish. As we continue to grow, you can find all you need for your home solutions. And thanks again from SJ Neathawk Lumber Company in Lewisburg and Covington. All right, back to action here at Spartan Stadium with the Patriots on the top of the Spartans, 41-6. to Let's see they're on your scoreboard. 2.24 to go in the third quarter. I swear there are 15 people on the field for the Patriots, but kicking off again after that penalty at the 45. He kicks that way past the end zone. So as it looks like uh, the size has gone down for the Patriots, they put some substitutes in. Let's see if we can put some points on the board this drive. Spartans will start at the 20 yard line after the touchback. We have worked about every second of this play clock, play clock all night. We got quad four, over here. Four on seconds to go. Quad's on the near side. Nobody was fooled. Um, you know, they took four receivers over to the right and dropped Colby Piner back, trying to get him the ball in the flat and. The Patriots aren't buying it anymore. I mean, they know we're just trying to figure out different ways to get Colby Piner the ball. They've got to start throwing it to somebody else. That well is dry right now. Yeah, it's definitely dry. So you think we'd be able to hit one of these short passes, but they, they're putting so many men in the box, there's no room for even a quick short like four or five yard pass, and Kyle holds on to the ball and runs back to about the original line of scrimmage. Got back a little bit, little bit more than the original line of scrimmage. Still going to lead third and long. Um, I'm sure we're going to try another pass play here. They're probably going to send a couple more. Linebackers up the middle. We got trips over here. And they send a linebacker up the middle. Untouched. And there's a flag. Flips the floor to Honaker, but it's going to come, come back. back. That's a really nice play. Unfortunately, it's coming back. So the holding penalty mark backs him up to about the 10 yard line. Instead of having out a 45 or at the 10. Yeah, eight. nine, eight and a half. So there really isn't much of a playbook for this. Uh, no. Third and long inside your own 10 yard line. Um, some type of a draw, maybe. They, I don't know if they even have a draw. Um, just run the ball, but they're not going to. Uh, and it gets batted down. You'll never guess who that was. Brandon Moody came in on that and just. Moody's having a big game. Untouched. What do you do with that when you're untouched? There's nothing you can do. Yeah, especially when he's tall, gets his arms up, blocks the ball.
Cal Kings kicking about five yards deep in the end zone. Ball back to him. Gets good kickoff again. This one's going to go out of bounds. Takes a nice Spartan bounce. Yeah. About the 42 yard line. Patriots are going to take over there. They tried another screen over to their their right side, Spartan left. It almost worked, but I wasn't quite sure uh, if it was going to happen. Um, Spartans did a good job of reading it and breaking it up, but their quarterback did a great job of reading it also and almost turned uh, something and nothing into something. So. I'm sure we're going to get a dose of, of a run right here. Yep, up the middle. And he's hit immediately by Marion Lawson and uh, Franklin Ormsby. Not Franklin Ormsby, that's uh, Bryson Ormsby. With that, we're going to take an end of the third quarter. Um, Robbie is down below. He's going to draw. We have a drawing for $75 from sharpvideotv.com. They're going to give away. They give away $75 uh, at every home game. You can enter this by visiting the Bank of Monroe in Fairley, Fritz's Pharmacy in Lewisburg. And SJ needs to hawk in Lewisburg. And it ends on Friday afternoon, the day of a game. You can sign up. Anybody's eligible. Just fill out your name and your address. And we've got a name and a winner. $75 just by showing up to one of our sponsors. And going ahead and giving them your name. They're throwing out some footballs out here at the Spartan Stadium. And maybe some t-shirts. We'll have to see how that goes. So the Spartans are gonna get the ball back, hopefully in the fourth quarter. A Little bit of a mess up there. We're, we're still, let, the Patriots are still driving. So now it is third and eight at about the 42 yard line. And here we go. Ball comes back and he's gonna try to throw it. And he eludes a runner. Not sure if he got it, he did not. Fourth down. Spartans are getting their hands on the quarterback, but they're just not taking him to the ground. Um, he got hammered after that throw that time, but uh, it really wasn't enough. Did make it an incomplete pass. Rugby style kick. And a Terrible bounce for the Spartans. That's down all the way to the one yard line. Good, other than the fact that I didn't hear the name, Robbie. Julie Hanna won tonight. Julie Hanna. $75 for doing nothing, just signing up. She signed up, she filled out the whole form, though. She put her email in for 
phone number and check off with Jesus is Driver. See your start video on TV.com's uh, YouTube channel. That's awesome. So, yeah, so definitely a fan. Hope you're watching it sometime this week online. So anytime you can go online and watch these at any time they're up there? All the time, right? As long as you tune in this, those, those games will be up there for you. They'll be up there sometime tomorrow afternoon. So if you're watching it on, on Channel 5, you can go online, turpidiotv.com. Um, but you have two weeks now to enter it in the three locations. Uh, so Bankman Road there in Fairly, Prince of Pharmacy 2 in Lewisburg, and the Fox Jackson. And Raiders, maybe they're purple something. I know they're purple, so. Riverside is coming to Spartan Stadium. That could be a playoff game or a play in for a playoff spot. So put it on your calendar. Come out and kick off 7 30. Stay on that on the carry. Picked up a couple more on the play. Hey, Al. We need to see a few more positive things happen, maybe. We'll see if maybe uh, some of the Spartans can just get an opportunity to do a little more or something. And there's nothing happen happening there. They're still short. No. Let's. But they don't give it any kind of rush because they want the return. Um, and then we got a terrible bounce. I mean, how much more worse could the bounce be? It hits the ground and bounces the wrong direction. Sometimes that ball just doesn't bounce for you. Well, Spartans have made a few changes on defense. Um, I see a few other defensive linemen down there getting a few more young guys some playing time and Patriots still have their starting lineup in. It doesn't matter. Yeah, that guy's fast. This team has put some points on the board. They scored 70 against Brook. Uh, the other game's been in the 35 area. 27. Yeah, but Morgantown's not a slouch. Oh, they only scored seven against University, though. They must have had... Somebody must not have been there. Half the team was sick or something. Well, in University, has not had a good season. Good. It's kind of a down year for University. Yeah. Parkersburg must have thrown that one in. So with that kick, it is 
48 to 6, and we haven't heard from Solak Builder tonight, so we're going to get a quick commercial in here. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning, I'd hammer in the evening, all over this land, I'd hammer out danger, I'd hammer out a warning, I'd hammer out love between my brothers and my sisters, all over this land. Back to action here. Squibs it, and that's picked up by Jalen Battle. And he ran around basically back to exactly the spot where he caught it. Yeah, I think Battle's my candidate so far for the Green River Valley Medical Center player of the game. That's a good one. Yeah. We've oh, yeah. That's a nice logo. It's a nice doggy, too. We'll see you in the logo. Yeah. In the house. Uh -huh. There's a dog in the house. I see that. <laughs> nice. We're going to have a new Solak Builder commercial next week that has yeah, the logo in it. We're a pet friendly company. If you get in my office and there's not a dog in the office, I'll be surprised. Normally there's uh, two, most times three. Yeah, you talked about having a basically a mascot. Colby Piner just caught a touchdown pass. <laughs> and he outran Mr. Yuhu. Well, Yuhu tried to jump. It looks like jump up to try to get it. No, it was, that wasn't him trying to jump up and get it. That oh, was no. somebody else. But the defensive back stopped short and jumped. So if he would have kept running, he probably might have been able to play on Colby. But... Um, I, looks like we might be going for two. Yeah, let's go for two. We're good at that. Yeah. Unless the umpire gets in the way. <laughs> you had to bring it up, didn't bring you? Bring it up, man. We're still, we've been talking about it all week. Not only did the umpire get in the way, there was a timeout supposedly called that, that didn't get called. And Anyway, spilled milk, I suppose. Oh, that's in. He's in for two. Colby Piner again. So Piner for that touchdown makes it 48-14, or Piner for that two-point conversion and the touchdown. Um, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. The Bank of Monroe has over 100 years of service demonstrating strength and security and local loan decisions. Fathers feel comfortable securing their financial assets with Bank of Monroe. Daughters love suckers. There's an array of account options to suit your personal needs, including online banking, ATM, and mobile deposits. Young adults endorse the convenience. The Bank of Monroe has convenient locations in Union, Lewisburg, and Fairley. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Parkersburg right. South pretty certain certain of it. We brought in Chris Humes to kick the ball. Chris is a, an expert at these onside kicks. He's had a couple this year. Attempts anyway. Oh, they, they pulled him. They just took a knee. Yeah. Without, a, without a single defender in sight, just took a knee. That's all right, we'll take it. We'll show you that scoreboard again, 48-14 with 6.20. The clock running. Not sure why the clock is running already, but it is. This is first down. Sixty-one Peyton Pack made that tackle. Just looking through the scoreboards, no huge upsets other than uh, Cabell Midland beat Huntington tonight. Um, that's kind of an upset. 
and Morgantown beat John Marshall. We'll be talking more about that in the next couple weeks, as, as depending on how the Spartans do next Friday night. Well, I should say Friday the 26th. We go to Princeton. We win that game, then we'll be home for a home for the possibility of going four and six or six and four rather. An exciting couple weeks coming up, Mark. Yeah, it. It's nice to be in the fight for things. Um, it's just tough. Um, when you come in as the 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 seed, uh, it's a long road to go. Yeah. And usually it involves travel across a large distance. All right, new running back in, and Chris Humes and uh, Ormsby bring him down. That's the first time we saw number 32 get the ball. And they're going to change the play. Most often what they've done at the line is uh, when they change it, they change it to a pass play, very rarely ever a running play. But it is a running play. Oh, nice. Immediately hit by Chris Humes. Hammered to the ground for no gain. And Spartans bring in a few heavyweights. No, some some down linemen. They're they're changing some things out. New linebackers, giving some other players a chance to play. And the Patriots really aren't taking their foot off the gas here. They're just no, they're going to delay a game though. Hughes is on fire, man. You see that? He punched through the line. Yeah, Chris is. <laughs> we have a lot of competitors. Yeah. We have guys that don't like to lose. We have guys that came out to play ball and they want to win. Um, there's no doubt about that urge to win. Um, oh, I guess guess we took a timeout and didn't didn't really notice. <laughs> we'll talk about that urge to win when we come right back. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning. I'd hammer in the evening All over this land I'd hammer out danger I'd hammer out a warning I'd hammer out love Between my brothers and my sisters All over this land Back to it. A couple of missed tackles and quarterback just keeps running. Brandon Bragg, a ninth grader, come in to spell somebody. Got an opportunity at linebacker in there and Made the tackle, but not until it was about a 20-yard gain. So yeah, right on the 42. Like you're saying, they haven't taken their foot off the gas yet. Yeah, you've got it. Their first team, and their starting quarterback, running the quarterback sneaks against uh, a lot of our extras and our down linemen. How can you throw the what? flag on that? They never Ball start. Part. Okay. 11 o'clock still running. Pops run on the penalty. We're not going to complain. You're down by 34 points. But yeah, Mark, you wonder why you, you keep your starters in because you have 
You know, they have two and, and likely three games at least to play. And you hate yeah. to get an injury. Especially when their quarterback is pretty much their star. I mean, he plays offense and defense, and he's a lot of their team. If he's not in there, um, that's a pretty big chance to take. Yeah. And obviously, you were talking about competitors and, and you know, the, the will to win and practicing hard. And I'm sure that the Parkersburg South guys, you know, they want to play too. And he being a senior, he only has so many let, more times to suit up. But Yeah, but at this time of year, it's not about playing time. It's about yeah, getting about ready for the playoffs. And this looks like a Parkersburg South team that's headed for the playoffs. Yeah, they're going to move to 6-2 and two on the season after tonight. It looks like they're going victory formation. Well, stay tuned for the band, Mark. They're coming up. They're going to do their full show after the game. And uh, we need to talk about the Greenbrier Valley Medical Center player of the game. So they're going to take a knee. Jalen Battle had a heck of a game. And again, Colby Piner was the offensive juggernaut of yeah. the night. Jalen plays with such battle and passion and that will to win. Well, you I, know? I think Battle deserves it tonight. He had a couple good tackles, um, a couple hard runs up the middle. You know, he, he didn't light up the stat sheet exactly, but, you know, he, he ran hard and, you know, he's a senior. Um, you know, it's his next to last home game. So I think we'll go with the Greenbrier Valley Medical Center player of the game, Jalen Battle, number 22. That seems like a great pick. He's yeah. a great kid, too. Yeah. And he was on the homecoming court. So more bonus. <laughs> well, with that, I think I'm signing off. You're going you're gonna to stay and listen to the band? Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to stay and catch the band. Him. But look, the scoreboard's already signed off, too. They've clapped, shut that thing down. They're out of here. <laughs> so thanks a lot for your help, Mark. We see will you see week. you, um, yeah, the 26th in Princeton. and then Live. Live, and then home for the 2nd of November. So thanks a lot, Mark. See you soon. Stay tuned for the band. Hey Spartan fans, SharpVideoTV.com has an exciting promotion for you this year. We are giving away $75 at each Spartan home game. Registration is easy. All you do is go to Bank of Monroe in Fairley and Fritz's Pharmacy 2 in Lewisburg. And Neahawks. Fill out your name, put it in the box. We're going to draw out a winner at each home game, all five home games this season. If you're present when your name is drawn, we're going to give you an additional piece of Greenberry's merchandise, shirt, hat, something cool like that. You'll be able to support the Spartans all week. Additional details are available on our Facebook page, Facebook slash Sharp Video. Remember, Bank of Monroe Fairley, Fritz's Pharmacy 2. And Neahawks. Register to win 75 bucks in your pocket. We'll see you at Spartan Stadium this year. Good luck. Out of the hearts of the Greenbrier Valley marches with pride, the 2018 Spartan Marching Band. Tonight, the Spartan Band's field production is inspired by one of the most beloved board games in America. Blue. After sweeping the awards, including the Grand Championship at the Mountain State Forest Festival, the Spartan Band placed fourth in the Musselman High School's Invitational, which featured bands from Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, and West Virginia. The Spartan Band scored higher than any other West Virginia band. Tonight, soloists include Hannah Stakely, Ava Jaspers, Georgia Foster, Bailey Whitler, Ilea Westmoreland, Allie Feaster, Gabriella Gill, Cooper Woods, and Ella Carr. Bill conductors Courtney Martin and Stanley Segura. Tell us, do we have a clue? You may now take the field and have a wonderful performance.
Billard's room with the candles. <laughs> is Miss Peacock with the candlestick in the library. Again, that was Mrs. Peacock with the candlestick in the library. The Spartan Band will be hosting the first Green Bar East Arts and Crafts Show November 19th, and we invite all area crafters to consider showing up with us. Stop by the home concession stand for more information. From the Spartan Band, thank you and good evening. And a special thank you to our guest announcer tonight, Mr. Brian Carr. <laughs> 